Okay guys, so you can see here that I have rearranged the shop a little bit. I've moved my band saws and my router table, the Craig jig and the drill press from the back side of the shop to over here where I can use them. Not sure if this is gonna be super functional for me, but um, at least now when I go to making the French cleat holders and I need the band saw, I have it here, I have this one, and then I can use this one if I need to. Um, I may need the drill press, so I don't use it that much, but I have it here now. And as I was making a French cleat holder, I was thinking about how if I was able to use the router table to kind of round over things, that would be beneficial. But all of these tools were stored in the back side of the shop. So now that I have them out here, um, that should work out better for me to be able to have access. Um, obviously, this is not the final form of how the shop is going to be, but we'll see and i still have my little through fare over here so i could get you know back down here and work now so i was successful i haven't touched this wood as of yet but i was successful in the back side of the shop being able to shift the wood from the back wall and kind of shifted it over to the side so basically with that what i'm doing is i'm moving the wood from the back wall, I moved it over to from the right side to the left, and then I was able to shift storage tubs back there on the back right. And then I was able to move the rest of the wood and plywood and sheetrock back over to the left side. And so now the back part of the shop is just tubs and storage. And um, the plywood is accessible on the other side of the camera here. I may move it back over here. Um, and I'm thinking about moving my lumber cart to the storage side of the shop as well. Maybe using it as a blocking divider so that um, when I'm doing woodwork and that's all you'll see. You'll see the working area and then you'll see the plywood um, or the wood that I have in the shop blocking off the storage area or whatever. Because there's really nothing to see there as far as that. Um, I did store a bunch of tools up on the top. Those are my Ryobi tools, which are pretty much out of service at this point. And then over there, I'm still working on the, I guess, on my right side, I'm still working on that wall. It's still a mess, but um, it's a work in progress. We'll get it done. Um, anyways, just a really short video, just kind of giving you an update on where I'm at as far as getting the shop ready to go to um, start making a bunch of projects. Um, today I was derailed simply because obviously life happens. I had to snake the kitchen sink because it was backing up and the dishwasher wasn't able to run. So I got that done successfully. I used a manual snake. I had a battery powered one, an 18 volt one a long time ago. Um, it was Ryobi and it just went bad. So I don't want to buy another Ryobi one. If I do get another one, it'll probably be a Milwaukee and it would have made that job go by a lot smoother. Um, the other thing is on the tail light. So I did a video on my channel where I changed the tail light on my truck and I just replaced it with some aftermarkets. Well, now my, I guess the passenger side rear is starting to alarm again. It's not going off all the time. Just when I go to put on the blinker to go to the right and then also, uh, you know, going to reverse. Um, I went to my local AutoZone. I bought the bulb. I put it in there and it's still not working. So it's making me wonder if that was a decent brand. Maybe it's one of those brands that's made to fail. Um, that's a possibility. I did buy it on Amazon. Who knows? Um, if I can't get it working, then I'll probably go to my local pick and pull and see if it's possible for me to find a OEM replacement to put back in there because um, I didn't sign up for that. You know, the top part is LED lights, so those can't be replaced um, easily. The bottom part is where you have the brake light and the turn signal, and um, that is a replaceable it's like an 1156 bulb which i did put in there um and yeah like i said it's not working but anyways um took all day to kind of shift the shop around to wh where it is right now um i don't know hopefully we can start projects tomorrow anyways guys uh thank you for taking time to watch the video i'll see you in my next one take care